Extract two. Good evening and welcome. Tonight, I'm appealing to everyone out there watching this. This live helpline round-the-clock special is in aid of the famine-stricken province we've been hearing so much about recently and seeing on our TV screens night after night. And believe me, however little you pledge, and we will make sure that it reaches its destination, will make a tremendous difference. Last year, in between giving concerts to raise money, I myself went out to supervise the deliveries of aid to stricken areas, and I know from my own first-hand experience that whatever we do is a mere drop in the ocean. We can never, ever send enough to help these people. But what we do send will be greatly appreciated, so it all depends on you. Pick up the phone. The number to call will be appearing on your TV screen shortly and will be announced on radio programmes throughout the evening. You can ring and quote your credit card number, or if you can't get through, just send us a cheque or make an online donation and you can sleep easily in your bed knowing that you've done your bit for Helpline. Extract 3 So, I understand that you and your wife sponsor six-year-old Anna from Africa. Why did you decide to take on a sponsorship like this? Basically, we'd been wanting to do something to help people in the poorer regions of the world for some time. Mm. Um, when we saw an advertisement in a magazine, we made up our minds to do something positive. Opportunity International seemed like a good scheme, not least because our donation is sent straight to Anna, her family and the village where she lives. Mm. So you know where your donation ends up and who's getting the benefits? Mm -hmm, absolutely. But what I found most extraordinary about Opportunity International was the way in which it works with the locals. Um, you see, the people themselves decide how the money can best be spent in the community where the children live. Oh. And how much do you know about Anna? Quite a bit, actually. They've sent regular reports on the community's progress since we started paying, and we found out quite a lot about the charity's activities elsewhere, too. We donate monthly, and it's not such a lot to find, in all honesty. And it's not as if we can't manage without it or anything <laughs> like that, but it's... It's great to see that so much good can be done with the little that we give. Mm.